This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 11, Refreshing Local Data. Your app still needs, your app is still running off of an array called Contacts that is stored in your app. Yep, the global variable contacts stored right here. You can think of it, this as a local copy of your database, which is what it is, right? So we ask, we say read records, read records, my contacts. So that's us asking the server for whatever is saved to the database or saved uh, to the server. It returns an array called my records and we save my records. We say, okay, contacts now equals my records. Everything in the program can access contacts because we declared it up here outside of the function. So all functions can use it anyway. So, all right. Uh, local copy. In order to prevent it from getting out of sync with the actual database, refresh your content of this array every time you make a change to the database. Yes, as it was discussing up here and common procedure for programmers, you only want to be making changes to one copy. Usually it's going to be the copy you are storing um, in the cloud. It's a good design practice. Since you will need to refresh that many times in this program, you will create a single function that refreshes the data in your app and displays the result. Do this. Your code and database from Contacts app is provided. Yep, so if you don't have all this, you need to go back through the last few lessons. If you get stuck, watch my videos. Um, I have tutorials on all of it. Move the code that loads the data from the database into a function, refresh local data. Okay. Function. Oh, but we're going to have to call it right at the top. I got it, though. So I grab the function. Now here's my function, and we're naming this refresh local data. All right. Move the call to read, read records from the top of the code into the function. Oh. We already did that. Make a call to refresh local data. You need this now to trigger the initial, right? So functions don't run automatically. So we need to ask them to run. What's our details? Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. So we're going to ask it to run right at the tip top here, I guess. Refresh local data and if i want to be a stickler i can add a space there as well for clarity run your program and yep so now we just have this within a function which is going to be handy because now we can call it also when any changes are made to that data but let's make sure confirm it still copies your database yep let's make sure it works now yep and bob i know has no picture maybe i should change that and friend two friend three and build and Popeye. Perfect. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going.